This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello and welcome back, fellow disc golf enthusiasts, to coverage of the 2023 Estonian Open, third stop of the European Pro Tour. We are bringing you Round 1 Back 9 MPO feature card coverage brought to you by MDG Media. We have a star-studded lineup here. We're excited to bring you this coverage. I'm Connor Wood, and with me once again, Maxim Tonsch. And we are back for the Back 9, man. Pleasure. Let's go. So we have our four amazing players on top of the standings. Can't wait to see the following holes, man. Some hot starts already. We move on to hole 10. One of the easier holes on this course, it is a par 3, only 81 meters, softly downhill. Still some gaps to hit between these trees. The fairway goes straight and bends softly to the right. Shapes very nicely for a right-handed forehand or a soft backhand turnover. Attackable hole, especially for guys of this feature card caliber. Yes, yeah, so the forehand is definitely the, the best option. If you are not comfortable with the forehand like I am, you try for the turnover, but it's really hard. It's a, it's a tight line. But let's see. Paul, no Here. stranger to the forehand. <sighs> oh. Okay, yeah, it, it happens. It happens. No worries. That's an early tree. Had a significant Anheuser angle release it's, from the hand. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit, bit too much. But you have the good line here. Skip. Yup. <laughs> Throw me. Crowd popping off in support of a great line there. Yeah, as a player, having Tommy in the crowd is definitely... <sighs> it's definitely a bonus. Hmm. Brings the energy for sure. Oh, what? La Lowry looking to shape what I believe was his justice. Overstable approach disc. A little bit too much Anheuser. Found an unfortunate kick out left. Yeah, I'm not sure what he kicked, but uh, it was yeah, weird reaction. Oh. Same tree as Paul. It happens really the, the gap is tight. You can see that the four players uh you know played the the forehand. So that's definitely the option. But the, yeah, normally the, the scramble is so easy. You you can kick some trees, you will have gaps to to save the par. As you can see with Paul here, now Maori a bit tight. Wow. Da yield. Oh. It was a tight gap. Good shot. Yeah, he saw that low ceiling he had to contend with. Gives it enough power to get it all the way there. A long putt from Lowry. Fades just short of the basket. So you hope for a bit more birdies in on this hole? I think Jonas will be the only one. But par is okay. You just forget and go to hole 11. He's going to bang in it. Ooh. Oh, and he did a confident putt there, even high on the chains. Was made sure not to leave that one low. Paul and Maori with a tap in for their pars. So just one birdie on the whole ten. Those guys are human. Let's go. And if you had a sigh of relief on hole ten. You're going to need to focus up here on hole 11, par 3, 120 meters. This shot is an uphill tunnel shot the entire way. Very demanding and definitely a bonus birdie if you can get it. You need to match the grade of the hill, push one up there avoiding all the trees, and a great shot can even find this little backstop here right behind the basket. You can really try and fire this one up there. Yeah, that's, I would say, one of the hardest hole. You know, if you hit the gap, you know, dead center, it's definitely hard. You know, it's uphill. You go for, with the fairway driver. It's, uh, it's a bit scary to go with the, the distance driver, knowing that if you hit a tree, you will kick aggressive. But this one is amazing. 
This one is really amazing. Oh la la. Jonas Alto. Oh, C1. Oh, great shot. Come on. <sighs> Paul's going to need this to turn. Oh my God. As he finds an early left side. Tough to see if he kicked or sat down, but mm. did not find the full flight he was looking for. He will be left with a scramble. If he kicked left, he's, he's in trouble. Definitely. Take it back. Come on. Okay, fading. It's a good shot. It's definitely a good shot. You know, fading early, but he will have a C2 putt. Good shot from Lowry. Yeah, pin high and didn't look like it caught much on its way. Maori now. Okay, he's going through. Overturned this one a little bit. He'll look to find some fade at the end, and he will also have an obstructed C2 putt, maybe just outside, but an absolutely fine throw. Uh, what's going on with the disc? Let's go. Checks his grip, throws a low release hyzer. Ha, oh, good one. Good shot. The scramble on this hole is so hard. C2 for Lowry. Oh. What? Finds one on the way. One of those small guardians connected solid with the trunk. Maori closer than he looked from the angle just outside the circle. Caches that one through a small gap. Incredible on the putting green. Let's take another look here. Circle's edge, fires it through the branches like they're nothing, sneaks it over the cage and into the chains for a great birdie here. Yeah, this man frustrates me. It's too easy. The green is his friend. Oh. oh not as friendly though for Jonas, finding the weak side chains and a little bit too high. Doesn't stick it. This is Paul for par. No. A similar looking putt there. High left side. Okay. Slow start on the back nine for the guys. Nice save. But he kicked. I don't know. You know, the, this tree. I, I didn't feel that the, the tree was, you know, in his way. But good save for the par. And Paul taking the bogey then. Ah, it must feel bad. You it's forget and you go. Yes. Definitely the hardest, I would say. But they will move on to hole 12. Par 3, 106 meters. This downhill left to right fairway shapes nicely for a backhand flex or forehand hyzer. As you come downhill into this fast green, you want to try and land it nice and soft as there is not much to stop your disc once you connect to the ground. I think the nicest and most natural shape here is an overstable disc released on an Anheuser angle out of the hand that flattens out towards the end of the flight. And you are right. You know, I would say just a forehand would not be the option knowing that you need to glide, you know, and, you know, as, as I, you, you just mentioned, like, Back end for the, the right-handed player is definitely the option. You take the flex. Oh, la, la. Looks so easy. Great shot from Maori. Another prodigy disc in the hand. Come on, Jonas. Oh, yeah. Miss the trees and you're good. Oh, wow. I think it's the he's third time he's uh, parking. He's doing the park job. Great job for Jonas, from Jonas. From both of our Prodigy sponsored players there, Jonas and Maori, really puring that line. Yeah. Every... Lowry up now. Oh, wow. Oh, not enough Anheuser. Came out on a soft hyzer release, actually. Flipped up to flat, but did not get the turn rightwards. He will find himself in some thick rough. And join the MDG family, guys. Support us. We need it. With the Patreon. Pull on the T. Let's go. Looks amazing. Show us. 
Oh wow. And sometimes you just kick that tree you see in the middle of the line. You know, you can do the perfect shot sometimes. You are playing in the woods, so you can't miss every tree. Yeah, and blind around the corner of the tee. Yeah, Lowry you don't see a nice it. jump out there to keep himself close for par. This is Paul. Long look at birdie. Oh, good line. Oh, off, just off the cage. Hoppala! Seven down. Casual. Eight birdies Lowry from... Setting. Wow. Yeah, even with one bogey setting yes. a great pace here. Seven down through 12 holes. Jonas right behind him at six down. Lowry and Paul remaining at four under par. And let's move on. Here you see hole 13, par three, 108 meters. This fairway has a soft right to left shape. You want to throw for the right-handed player a long fighting hyzer or hyzer flip with the backhand, but you want to try and finish as softly as possible. Once you get to this hard packed green, you see a slope from right to left that will be the exit ramp for any discs coming in too fast. Yeah, so you try to, you try to, to have that slight hyzer, you know, like line, you know, through the, the whole, the whole fairway. If you go too straight, you will go on the right side. That's exactly this. Oh, and maybe holding it a bit too much. Hmm. Ah, okay. Ah, he fights through, no problem. Great spot there from Maori, looking to get his third birdie in a row here on the back nine. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit tight, maybe. Oh, catching some branches. Hmm. It's gonna be an easy par. Maybe you see two, we'll see. Yeah, I think a long look for him there. Yes. Come on. Don't hold it too much. Hmm. No, that's what I was talking about. You know, you, you have that high as a release, but if your disc is uh, flipping a bit too much, it's going straight, catching trees and C2 put for Lauri, and that's the perfect line. You're gonna s oh no! I think ah, too much hyzer. Yeah, it did not flip up to flat at all, and held the one angle shot the whole way. Found one of those left side guardians. Came through the back, fortunately, but you can see here still a very very long putt. He's left it, this one a bit high. It but looks sits good. It down. It looked good, but uh, yeah, early release. That's easy part. Yeah, something Paul. something right between Paul's and Lowry's line would be ideal. Exactly. That's a, that's a good point. And Lauri now. Ooh. Ha, making the catch cam move. <laughs> Quick feet. Yes, sir. Come on, Lauri. Oh, no. Uh, he did not like that out of the hand. You saw his head drop before his putter even hit the floor. He knew it had no chance. Yeah, sometimes. You know, it's a, it's, it's kind of a dangerous green if you are short on the drive, knowing that you have a, you know, slightly downhill slope. So you know, if you attack like Lauri just did, you can go far. And you have Mauri Wilman looking easy peasy, like it's home. Lauri catching the bog. Okay. And Jonas and Paul finding their pars. Yes, sir. Next bag here on hole 13. Meet Pure. The most modern disc golf bag in the universe. Join the Pure family today. Pre-sale at puredisc.net. Man, have you ever seen that kind of bag in the disc golf world? I have not a pretty unique looking design there. I think some new materials also coming into play. Excited to see them hit the market. Pure bag. As we move on. Yeah. So we'll see if they can hit a pure line here on <laughs> hole 14. A very unique hole. A horseshoe shaped par four sitting at 170 meters. You want your first shot to go right, 
you want your second shot to go right, and you want your third shot to probably still go a little bit right. As you wrap around <laughs> this U-shape the entire way, a lot of players will be going forehand hyzer off the tee, using some height to get as much fade as possible, as you then try to get your second shot as far up there to the green as you can. Very unique hole. What are your thoughts on this one? Uh, the forehand is definitely the option on the first one. So if you are crazy, you can try the, the back end turnover like I do. But definitely going super high, high as a release. Unfortunately, catching some trees here. So he will be super tight. He won't be able to go to the basket from there. He will need to pitch up and go for a third shot to go to the basket. But one of those players will show you the way, man. Come on, Jonas. So we look to see Jonas. And the best shots do look like they're hugging the inside the whole way. That is a great shot there as he gets enough around the corner to have a look. He might want a little bit more, but that is enough to have a look at Birdie. Yeah, a bit shorter would have been nice. It's the, not the best place. I'm pretty sure I will be able to tell you. Okay, so this tree is... Mm, he will have a straight line from there. So Paul is definitely in the good uh, in a good spot to go. Jonas could be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit hard. Oh, it looks tight. Flowery can beat everything, but he does <gasps> not, and is actually rolling backwards. He will also just have to pitch up around the corner to try and scramble his par. Oh, Lauri is in trouble. He won't be able to throw the disc far. Yeah, you see the Mendo. Wow, it's going to be a hard, hard third shot. Yeah, no shortcuts allowed here. That Mando tree Oula. and some OB keeping players honest. A fine shot there to get himself into position. We see Jonas now. Come on, hold it. Miss the... Pr oh, yeah. First birdie chance of the group. Thanks to Jonas. And Paul definitely in position. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Ooh. Best drive of the bunch as he looks to be firing long, finds the backstop. <laughs> Cameraman making sure to get out of the way. Yeah, catch camera. Really good shot. Come on, so Lowry. He leaves himself in the circle for birdie. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, Lowry was really in a bad spot at, uh, after the, the first shot from the tee. It's going to be an easy bow. That's what. That's not what he's looking for, definitely. Easy par for Maori. Great, great touch from him. This is Lowry from deep. An honest bid. Keeps it close. Come on, Jonas. Oh! Hey -o. Beauty! He's Great birdie here on 14. Yeah, his technique, putting technique is so simple. Beautiful. And Paul as well from about 8 or 9 meters right in the heart as well. Getting his first birdie here on the back nine. I love his hoodie. Let's go. That pastel color. Yes. Paul, definitely a man to bring some style to the course. Oh, yeah, definitely. And let's go, man. Hole 15. Hole 15 is a big one. Par 3, 130 meters uphill the entire way. Players will need to throw either around or over these initial trees. As you break into this open field, you do have OB to the left and the right if you manage to find it, but a lot of players will just give a big drive. You can shape a big hyzer, a flex, and hyzer release, or a roller. This is really a shot choice where you can pick your best for this distance and try to get it up there. Man, you have so many options on this one. You also have a gap on the right side if you want. It's a bit dangerous because it's tight. But a lot of players are doing it. Like this. Like this. Beautiful. It's a cleanly. 
Great shots from Younes. So Paul and a really on the compact left. form. Yes. Okay, so you have another option. Big sky roller. Looking great. Stop. This holds the angle the whole way to just outside Bullseye. Paul Macbeth showing us the sky roller. No worries for the six times. Well, and you have another one. If you have the distance, the forehand on the. Oh, la, la. Impressive stuff there from Maori. Okay, so you had Maori looking four, for the air shot. Four different choices for those four players. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, fading too early. Is it Obi? Okay, not sure. Looks to have kept it safe. Yeah, we'll find out from his lie if he found trouble or not. Lowry having a little bit of struggles on the last two holes. Hopefully he can compose himself now. Try to stop the bleeding. Gives it a good run for Birdie. I'm pretty sure he was Obi. Ah, he so for par, he'll take a short, short bogey. Yeah, tough to see if he took his meter or stayed close, but Jonas, edge a circle. Another solid putt as he is stringing together a super hot back nine. He's eight down. Looks easy. Come on. Ole. Three birdies on this hole is a... Uh, yeah, good stuff from the feature card. Check this guy. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Lauri looks to be... Yeah, a bit more in trouble than the three others. Yeah, and did find Obi on that left side, as you mentioned, taking another bogey. We'll hope to see him stop the bleeding soon with only three holes left to go. Oh, this one is amazing. Hole 16, par three, 120 meters. These players will need to shape a long straight shot with as slow of a disc as possible that you can hit this distance with. For some a fairway, for some a mid-range if you have a really good arm speed. The slower disc will control your skip or flare in either direction. As you come into this fast green, this shot is all about control. You can come in on the left or right of this last tree, you just need to miss it. Great hole here. Yeah, exactly, you just need to miss it. I think the best shot is a fairway driver. Or mid-range here? 120 is a tough call for mid-range, but Paul with the hyzer at least stands this one up to flat. Okay. Comes up a touch short, but an open look for birdie. Not a bad shot by any means. Yeah, here I think you have the fairway driver option. Voila, the flex shot is the best. And right side or left side of the, that last three. Okay. Oh la la. Great. Wow. Loving it. Jonas really finding his stride now. Incredible momentum that he's maintaining on the back nine. Oh, oh. Maori. early, early in Heiser. So he should have a put from there. He will have gaps. Come on, Lauri, show them. He needs it. Take it. Take it, keep. This looks like a pure line. Yes. As he gets right up there, a tree to stop his full skip, parked at about six meters out from the basket. Really nice shot from him, looking to secure a birdie when he needs it most. So, Mori. It's impressive. He doesn't care about comebackers and stuff. Ha! The body language from Paul there, you could see how much he wanted that one. Man, can you Maori explain with that me? comebacker, stress free. <laughs> yes, how it's possible to be that comfortable for a comebacker to save a par. Seven meters. Circle one confidence right there. I'm jealous. Nice. He needs it. Good birdie from Lauri. Oh wow. Too much 
too much red on this one. Yeah, this sport can feel very different if you're confident in your circle one. Being willing to give it a bid from circle two, knowing you can make it back, can be a game changer. Yeah, definitely. Here we see hole 17. Par 3, 90 meters. Another good chance at birdie. This is a downhill straight shot. Controlling your landing point is critical, as once you make it over this small crest, you have to make sure that you land soft as you contend with an elevated basket right at the end. Attackable hole, but requires some great precision and touch. So yeah, it's a straight shot. You don't want to be short. You know, it's kind of elevated and there is a downhill slope. If you're short, you're in position of a, not a death putt, but it's dangerous. If you miss the chains, you can, you can go far. Keep the line. Miss it. Oh, la la. oh, wow. Jonas just does not stop looking to put his first, fourth birdie in a row on the board. This is Lowry ah, now. Miss it. Oh, okay. He's in the hole on the right side. It's a good spot. Yeah, he snuck through right about to pin high. Paul playing with a bit more height and turn here. As he also crashes in that right side, settles nicely within the circle. Yeah, seven meters shouldn't be a problem for him. And then this guy. A bit early. And I can assure you he will attack it. <laughs> no worries for Marvi. Everything within out there. Yeah, everything within fifteen meters is Yeah, is a game for Oh, just la. effortless. Oh, la, la. Absolutely effortless looking birdie putt here on 17 for Maori to put him to 10 under with one hole remaining. Incredible pace. Nice, Maori with a good putt. Oh, it smells the star frame. Second of the round. I think Paul smells it too. Yes, sir. And Jonas won't miss this one for sure. Easy. Not much time needed at that short distance. Puts it in. And look at that back nine from Jonas Alto. Incredible. A lot of green. You see here the beautiful overhead drone shot of hole 18. You need to carry over this water roughly 100 meters to safely, safety and 110 to the basket. This is a huge risk reward as you want to hang it out wide and high to crash into the hillside. But the further up the hill you are, the scarier the putt coming back can be. If you can hit this flat part before the hill in the fairway, that is ideal. You want to put it as close as possible and finish out with a good birdie here. Yeah, they changed the, the basket spot. You know, last year it was uh, on the slope. Now it's closer to the to the to the water. So as you are saying, the more left, the more scared. He's going wide. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, nine meters. He's going for eleven down. Cholala, oh, what a round! Jonas and Maori. We got Lowry up first. Yeah, but that's Going wider. Wider and higher. That looks like a great line. Just a meter closer than Jonas. Very similar position. Yes, sir. Come on. That's one of the easiest holes in the course. You know, no, nobody's surprised and impressed if you do the birdie. Voila. You just need to trust your fade you know you just go wide there's no worries don't go too low ah that's a bit early he's gonna be on the slope in the slope and pretty high he'll be putting back downhill interested to see if he chooses to run that given how strong his round is so far with that danger looming right behind will show a good sign of his uh composure and 
how much he really wants to bite off here in round one. Mallory Vilman. Did you see that? Circle. Kaidi Kaidi oh. Al Salou Kaidi Al Salou is doing a. Is doing that was you know, the spectator control, yes, right? Yes, yes, exactly. And she's playing FPO. Amazing. And I believe she's... Oh, Jonas finding the birdie to oh go la 11 la. under. Look at the green on that back nine scorecard. This man has just put on a clinic here in the final nine holes. Hot round. <sighs> oh, ho, ho. you get it. Lowry sneaks it in. Yeah, and quickly back to uh, Paul here as we see him to go eight under for the round. Very well yeah, done. Yeah, solid, solid. Good start. I think yeah, everything... We see Maori for par. Everything down there, then six down is uh, is good. Holala. What a round. Absolutely. Still in contention. And what a feature card. It was, it was an good. absolute pleasure to see these guys attack this course. Some super hot scorecards here as they lock in these final scores that will be the closing out of round one, 2023 Estonian Open. Oh, as we yeah. take a look at the standings here, we'll see what the field got up to. Jonas Alto, your solo leader after round one, 11 under par. Tied in second, Maori and Mikael. Tied in fourth, Ville and Nestori. Nine under. Extremely tight battle in sixth as well. Incredible round. Max, thank you for joining me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support this coverage. And we'll see you in round two. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the commentaries, man. A pleasure to be back. Have a nice one.